So, hello, good day everyone. Uh, time for a new build here, uh, which I was actually kind of like overdue already, like uh, showing it. So this is the hot shit build, uh, how I call it. It's usually like replacing the old pew 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 build, the sniper build, because this is like a lot, lot easier for people uh, with like not so good aim. So you can body shot whatever you want with this build once you have the stacks going, basically. So, um, we're running this with four pieces of hotshot here, and we have an Riley backpack with concussion on it. Concussion has a reason here because vigilance, like when you play out of cover, you know, you get hit unless you don't play with the shield, you get hit, you lose the buff from vigilance. Concussion is a little bit different there. Um, as long as you can basically kill enemies in between 10 seconds, you have like a five seconds, sorry, you have 10% marksman rifle weapon damage uh, always on top of it. And this is only counted for marksman rifles, so you need to shoot with a sniper here. Um, if you do a headshot kill, this can be any weapon, basically. You get another additional 15%, so for 10 seconds. So if you can keep killing enemies in between 5 seconds, you have 25 weapon damage up all the time. Um, in between 10 seconds, you have like 15% of weapon damage all the time. Instead of having vigilance, we need to play from cover mostly, and as you all know, if you get hit, you lose vigilance, and then you have don't, no damage at all anymore. Not that it really matters on this build, um, because the damage is so high and so crazy, and with Determined on the weapon, everything is basically body shot, headshot, and you're good to go. So the whole build here is like, actually, everything here is headshot damage, weapon handling. Uh, same reason here for the weapon handling for the white death. So it makes the crosshair go smaller and accuracy goes higher, like way, way quicker, uh, even if you play like standing in the open instead of like being attached to a cover. So the way this build is working is actually hotshot. Gives you a lot of benefits here. So first, the uh, two-piece bonus here is 30% marksman rifle damage, 30% weapon handling, which is quite nice. And three pieces is 30% headshot damage. So you get a lot of damage like just by equipping three pieces. Um, if you play this build with a marksman rifle, so with a white death, nemesis, or whatever, um, you should actually use four pieces here. Because then, on the first shot, um, on the like first headshot with the marksman rifle, we increase next headshot by 20%, so you get another 20% additional headshot damage there. Second consecutive headshot will, with the marksman rifle will give 10% armor. This stacks up to 50, so if you keep killing enemies, the bonus armor is always there. It never stops actually. So you can refill your armor with this one too. So if you like your armor is lower than 100%, it will regen armor, and when your armor is full, it regens bonus armor on top of it up to 50%. So quite nice. Uh, you have a lot of safe feel if you like keep killing enemies there, which is really easy. I'll show you in a second. And the fourth item here is actually giving you uh, the third. Sorry, I forgot one. Um, the if it's at full armor, it will give you bonus armor. Um, so the third consecutive headshot will refill the magazine, so you don't have to reload anymore if you keep killing enemies. And with determined, determined is actually like um, which I explain in a little bit um, more detail. It's actually, um, if you have determined up, it's a guaranteed headshot. And if you one shot everything, you basically kill an enemy, you get determined proct again, uh, you have all the benefits from the headache here. So 20% weapon damage, refills your armor, and you refill your magazine. So you don't have to reload at all anymore. Um, from the fourth shot on, if you keep killing enemies here, so every fourth shot, it's just a headshot. Yeah. So if you keep killing, uh, shooting headshots, and determined it's actually a guaranteed headshot, so every shot is a headshot, so it procs this talent all the time. Um, you get all three bonuses at the same time. So every shot has 20% weapon damage, every shot refills 10% armor, and every shot refills your magazine. So this is really, really nice to play. So um, obviously choice here for the chest is a chain killer, as always, for the perfect headhunter. This will uh, like give you the damage boost that you really need here for being able to one-shot everything. And this works also on legendary level. I tested it already in a couple of missions and it works really, really well. So the way with this is working, oh, determined, uh, show the talent here real quick. Sorry, I'm really good at making videos and I will not edit anything out here. So it's plain talk about it and be done with it. So determined after killing an enemy with a headshot, the weapon damage next shot landed on an enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. There's also the relic, the named sniper rifle, which gives you a guaranteed critical headshot but not a viable opinion, in my opinion. First, the uh, the weapon is really bad, the damage is really low, 
And the other issue is like you don't run any crit chance, crit damage on this build anyway. So the critical headshot damage on the sniper rifle, you have no benefit on this build. So if you run a pistol build, you see profit, and then it's like more viable to ride on like a crit chance, crit damage build and just like one shot everything to there with a pistol. But that's a total different build. Okay, let's keep on going here. So determined, if you have that enemy there, you shoot him in the body, nothing really happens. The damage is quite low, 1.39 million here on a body shot. But if you hit the head, it's 5.5. Next shot, it's 16.5. Next shot, it's 26.7. And now the headhunter is fully stacked. So if we now shoot the body here, you will see like on the bottom right, we have concussion up two times here. If I hit the head, like both concussion buffs are up for like killing an enemy and killing with a headshot. So, and you also have like the um, talent from the headshot active there. You can see the full bar on the bottom right on the on the skull icon. This means basically the buff is up and every time you shoot an enemy, it will proc the full stacks. So you get the damage, uh, you get the armor regen and it refills your magazine. As you can see, I'm not losing a single bullet here. Also, if you then do like the body shot now with determined, it procs everything again. So you can shoot the body, determined makes it actually a headshot for the system and you keep hitting headshots here while doing body shots so this is a named item this is heroic level here and you just tap him yeah it's like tap you tap whatever you want and you can just like keep going and if you like kill them fast enough enemies here both buffs for concussion are always up and you have really really high damage and as i said this works on legendary level two the cool thing here is basically um, if you play legendary and you have a dog or you have a mini tank, it also procs determined. So if you have the headhunter stacks up and determined is active too, like it's here right now, if I would shoot a dog wherever I want, so you don't have to shoot the lower leg part anymore of the dog with the sniper rifle with the nemesis to kill him one shot, you can just use the white death and just tap him wherever you want. Shoot the dog wherever you want. If it's a purple, a red or yellow, it doesn't really matter. It will die off. So then the dog is going like, you know, you shoot a dog, it takes a couple seconds for him to die, she go, goes down on the knee like and the boink explodes. And when the explosion is happening and the box is disappearing, it procs determined again. So what you could do if you like, you shoot enemies and then there's a dog and you shoot the dog and you don't want to wait for that dog to die off, take another red or purple enemy, shoot him on the head again, get headhunter up again and just wait for the dog to die to give you more headhunter stacks and give you determined also back if you miss that other enemy there. Uh, so this is pretty nice. Um, we're not running the backpack here of Hotshot for obvious reasons. We want the talent from concussion for more damage. We want a Nye Riley backpack. Um, the Hotshot backpack actually would make it if you have the stacks up like I do here right now, like all three stacks are up and you miss a shot. Like you don't shoot the head because normally you Hotshot procs on the head and you hit the body. You have one free shot with a backpack. If you don't run the backpack, this will actually like make the stacks from the hot shot go away and you have to restack them again. So, but because we have determined up, it procs the headshot all the time, no matter where you hit the enemy anyway. So you don't need that backpack anymore. So you can just get rid of that backpack. And I'm not even quite sure what the chest is doing, but you want to play the headhunter here anyway on any build. Even if you run a pistol bolt, you want to run the headhunter for the extra damage there and just keep smashing headshots on the body. And that's all you have basically have to do here on this build. Uh, it's really nice to play, it's fast play. Um, you can wipe out like capital loss example legendary, the first part. It's just like there's one red always, shoot the red in the head when no one shot yet, so they're standing still, shoot the red in the head, get the stacks going and then just tap whatever you want. You only need one red or one purple with a headshot to kill, get the headhunter up to like half stacks, after that, everything is one shot. Um, you need full stacks for the headhunter for a dog, for a yellow one. You can kill a purple dog with half headhunter stacks. So you only need one red, then you can kill a dog. But the yellow needs like full headhunter stacks, but you can use a white death. There's no need to do it with a, a, a nemesis anymore. Good thing for this build is also like if you want to farm like on the open world, now for the apparel keys or something, uh, which is active right now uh, on the day I'm talking. Um, there's no need to run the white death if you don't want to. Uh, you also have the other option to play like an 8086 or Virginian, or you can use the, um, or what's the name, the, the one with the snake. You know which weapon I mean. Um, this weapon shoots a lot faster, 
So you can get like tapping a lot easier, but it takes a little bit more time because the damage is not that high on that weapon here. But after you get like fully head on the stacks, see, like the damage for a named enemy on heroic level is not enough. So you need to basically, you can tap whatever you want with this weapon here in a really fast paced way. I can show you here, like here, like you can shoot them way, way quicker uh, with the 1886 here instead of running the white death loss example. But the issue here is uh, it doesn't proc hotshot. Yeah, hotshot gets not procced on this one here because this is a rifle. This is not a maximum rifle. So you lose the benefit from the 20% weapon damage from the hotshot. Uh, you lose the armor regen, and you also lose the refill of the magazine. So, but it's nice to play with this weapon in the open world if you want to farm like convoys or something. Uh, you can just tap whatever you want to there if it's not a named uh, enemy. Named enemies still take like a little bit more damage. So. You would need to adjust the build a little bit. So if you want to play with the 18x6 here, uh, I would suggest you go with the old pew 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 sniper build, three time aces, yeah, anywhere here. Put um, the uh, the holster on maybe for the pistol, uh, the gunslinger holster, three time aces, yeah, that would be a nice option. Or you can run three times aces and put a providence defense part on with it together. Or you can also use like Habsburg if you can get one which actually has headshot damage weapon handling so you can reroll it to a red core. That's also really good. And that would I would do if I would run with this weapon here for open world or you run a pistol build as example. A pistol build is a little bit different and again. Use a D8 and H mask maybe, the punch trunk, so you have like a little bit more beef on your pistol. And D50 should be enough on a pistol build if you run it completely uh, to kill a named item in the open world. But for me, I always play with a white death. Um, I don't mind the slower shooting here, but I just want that higher damage so I can kill a rat with the first bullet and then like basically tap named enemies whenever I want. Like the highest damage number you can get on this build here is actually 28.1, as you can see right now. Like 28.1, wherever you hit the enemy. Uh, if you would change out the Iraldi to a Providence Defense backpack, as example, uh, with Vigilance, or you run the Iraldi backpack with Vigilance, the damage number goes a little bit lower to 27.4 if i remember correctly on the bullet which is also like way more than enough to kill anything on legendary level and anything in the open world uh, named item uh, bosses or something so you don't need to have an iraqi backpack with concussion i just like concussion on this build a bit more because i don't lose it all the time when i get hit and i play in the open because this build is more like you stay not in cover you just run around and you just go like and tap everything you want here like you just like stand there go to the next one yeah i missed the shot now so i need to get the stack back so and then you just like free roam you run around a lot yeah, and just like tap the enemies here whenever they come up so you're like more on the move so that's why the concussion works a bit better there in my opinion instead of vigilance all right, uh, that's it for this build. I hope you enjoy it. Um, sorry for the, like, the long talk this time because I needed to explain a, lot, a little bit more. And yeah, as you all know, I stream on Twitch, same name as a, a YouTube channel here. So if you want to say hi, come by, say hi, maybe give it a thanks or something for the build here. If you like it, enjoy it. Uh, give it a like on YouTube as well. And I hope to see you all on stream or in the community or for right on Sunday. Have a good one. Until then, have a bye.